look at how I did my new portrait of Amy Dumas, uh, also known to wrestling fans everywhere at this Lita. Uh, this one uh, was even more of a departure for me, pushing the whole wet on wet thing I've been doing with li liquid acrylics even further. Uh, doing the whole thing that way, but layering it up in a way that's more uh, done with traditional acrylic painting, uh, mixed in with, with some watercolor techniques too. I think it was a fun way to work. Um, always been a fan of Lita. Uh, she debuted with WWE shortly after I started watching. Uh, you know, first with S.A. Rios and then later with Team Extreme, uh, the Hardy Boys. Uh, it, was a, it was a really fun, fun time in wrestling and then, you know, all the, the storyline stuff with the Edge and uh, the, the live sex show and all that stuff, that was fun. Um, as you can see, what I do is uh, first wet down an area, then come in with the liquid acrylic and I'll mix it around a little bit with brush here and there, or, you know, just help the, the color move along with the water brush. Uh, you know, the, the hair part here was especially fun, you know, her big fiery red hair, uh, really fun to, to, to pick. Uh, you know, adding things in along, uh, you know, her tattoos, like normally that would have stood out even more, but uh, with the color choices I was making, it kind of blends in, but I think that's okay, like sometimes it stands out too much, maybe. Uh, excited for her induction into the WWE Hall of Fame. She's definitely someone that earned that. Uh, her time, uh, both you know, like as a ballet, but you know, more importantly as uh, one of the preeminent lady wrestlers of her time. You know, her battles with Trish Stratus uh, are stuff that are definitely still talked about and with reason. Uh, you can see in the background there on the computer and actually uh, watching WWE Network uh, while I'm working. I think that was uh, Raw from 98 or so, probably like the one with uh, Stone Cold and the Zamboni. Uh, you know, it's right around the time that I started watching and uh, it's fun to be living that. Uh, putting the finishing touches now on with the ink, uh, fully defining the figure and, and her, uh, you know, a few features like the eyes. And there's a the finished piece. Not bad. I also had the distinct pleasure of being, uh, being asked by David Fuller with uh, IHWE to paint each of the entrants into this year's Texas Wrestling Hall of Fame. Uh, a lot of notable entrants in there and uh, it's fun depicting a lot of these guys, some that I wasn't ever really familiar with but through the process of doing this uh, became fans of. Uh, something fun that I enjoy doing, uh, celebrating the history of wrestling. It's kind of the whole point of everything I do here.